Yo. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. It's been a while, huh? I went to take I, I took a one week break like last week, so I haven't been streaming. Mm. But it's fine, yo. We're back. Uh so I'm streaming Monster Hunter in like an hour and a half, so this stream's not gonna be very long. But uh just want to like um say hi. Konnichiwa Mina. But uh revise some Japanese because I realized I haven't done my Japanese lessons today and I was like, oh yeah, I'll probably do them. <laughs> and I was thinking, you know what, maybe I'll just stream it. And uh and besides, you know, like they say that uh teaching someone else is the best way to learn something or revise something i don't know i used to like back when i was in school i was a i was a math student i took i took math classes and essentially uh so for example some people would you know have more trouble with 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 math and i would i would kind of like tutor them a bit and and that kind of helped me understand my own like um grasp of math better so yeah teaching someone else is the best way to revise uh from experience so anyway so i've done like i've i've managed to reach like unit four. Oh wow i'm actually halfway there halfway to unit five hey wait am i dumb no this is unit four this is unit three right okay yeah halfway through unit four Feels pretty good. I'm gonna go through like all these five modules and get them to uh goal level. 
So let's start with this one. So um, it's been a while. Basically, I was saving these level four modules for stream, so I could stream the level five. But yeah, we're gonna like try. So okay, shka. Okay, so this one's this one's uh just something you have to know, I guess. This one is the. Uh, if I'm not wrong in Chinese, that's the character for Lu. Uh, which is which is dear. Uh, I might be wrong though, but yeah, Shika. There are monkeys in the zoo. So yeah, so in this in this module, we were introduced to like a lot of different uh animal names. For example, this one's Uma, which is horse. Uh, in Chinese, that's Ma. Hato, Hato is Hato is pigeon. Um, you've got Ushi. I think Ushi. Ushi, yeah, Ushi is cow. Uh, in Chinese, it's new. Uh, we've got uh, this one. Everyone should know Kitsune, Kitsune? which is fox. Uh, and so Saru, Saru is is monkey. We've got Doubutsuen. Doubutsuen. Okay, I got the I got the pitch accents wrong. What's it? Doubutsuen. Doubutsuen. So like, does anyone remember Koen? Koen is is garden from like a previous module so dobutsen so n n is is yuan so for people who know chinese uh garden is gong yuan uh which is koen so n uh corresponds to yuan and so any like like garden or zoo like um or like uh anything that ends with that same character is it's gonna be n which is where the dobutsen comes from there are monkeys in the zoo. So, Dobuts and Niwa. Dobu Niwa. Uh, Saru ga. Saru ga. I. Imas. So, over the last few weeks, I've been trying to get into like casual speech. And, uh, a lot of it, uh, involves the removal of stuff like mas or des. Apparently, they replace with da. Uh, or they replace, uh, like, they replace des with, with da. And they replace, um, Mas with ru. So if this was in casual speech, maybe it would be sound it would sound like Dobutsen ni wa saru ga iru. So iru is imas, it's the same thing. But yeah, casual speech is is just really interesting to me. Uh Ike. So okay. A lot of these look the same. Uh but Ike is Ike Hon. Which is Tsu in Chinese, which is this character here. Um yeah, there's a flower vase on the desk. Okay, everyone knows this one. Desk is tsukue from like a long, long time ago. The only Chinese I've ever heard is from Hitman movies and Jackie Chan. Yeah, that sounds well, right? <laughs> I think that's the fame, the the most famous uh Chinese movies. I think Hitman is like the most famous like Chinese. I like like the movies that Jackie Chan star in usually involve English as well. Cause men's like men men studied English, right, if I'm not wrong. To like do uh star in those movies. Like for example, uh Oh man, what's that Jackie Chan movie? Like for example the karate kid, which I which I enjoyed watching. Like he speaks English in that one. Uh, he does speak a bit of Chinese, but uh it's mostly English. I think Iman has the most Chinese ever. Yeah. Oh Iman was so good. And then Iman 4, I watched Iman 4 and I was like, yes, there's some good stuff. Okay, anyway, there's a flower vase on the desk. Tsukue, tsukue, no, where, okay, so, if you want to say on the desk, you're talking about above the desk, sort of. So, uh, everyone should remember, uh, no, this is no. No is a possessive particle, that's what they call it. So, tsukue no ue. So whatever is after this, okay. So ni, so ni is for position. So tsukue no ue ni. So whatever is after this is on top of the desk, basically. So tsukue no ue ni. Uh, kabin kabin is is this. Kabin. Uh, in Chinese that looks like hua ping. The only thing I don't like about Chinese and some American movies is the heavy propaganda. Oh, that sometimes tends to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I kind of get what you mean. Uh, I, I just don't pay much 
too much attention to it. Like, I just enjoy the movie for its like cinematic c- c- cinematography. <laughs> oh, I mean the action is is pretty cool, like the martial arts. So it is what it is. I don't know. Wait, I don't really see. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess there's some like political vibes in like Ip Man, I think. But uh, it's also like relatively accurate of a representation of what history was like, you know? So, so it's like that. Like, um, if anything looks bad, it probably because, it is probably because it was, yeah. Like discrimination and things probably did happen back in the day. Anyway, so, Tsukue no ue ni kabinga arimas. So the, the casual form of arimas is aru. So, tsukue no ue ni kabinga aru. Um, the difference between arimas and imas is imas refers to living things. Eh? I think so. I think it could be living. It's probably living things. There's a slight possibility it could be moving things and I might be wrong. But uh, pretty sure it's living things and then arimas is for non-living things. Uma, so this is horse. Three dogs are barking in the store. So we were introduced to the word for dogs a very, very long time ago. Um, and I think everyone kind of knows that, like, you know, cats are like Neko because Neko girls are everywhere. But like, so dogs are inu, um, which is this one. Uh, three dogs are barking in the store. So o mise ni. O mise. Eh, sorry, wait. De. Okay. Even I make this mistake. Uh, so you, there are three position words you could use: ni, de, and e. And ignore e for now. Hello, music. Welcome to the stream. You're gonna watch me attempt to do Japanese for like an hour. <laughs> so, so the the difference between ni and de is that ni is ni refers to a destination. So if you're going to the garden, for example, you would say koen ni ikimas because okay, ikimas is to go to, and you are going to a destination. But if you are saying you're gonna do something in a place. Then you would use de, like, uh, if you're swimming in a pool, pool do de, or yogi mas, instead of ni, because it's not your destination anymore. It's just the location where things are happening. So if if three dogs are barking in the store, you would say, Did someone just follow. Thanks for the follow, <laughs> Ram play. Uh, so omise de. De. Uh, oh boy. San, hiki. Okay, yeah. Wait, uh, let me let me try to remember. So this is Biki. 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 Okay, okay. The, this one by itself is Biki. If it's one, it's Biki. If it's two, it's Hiki. And if it's three, it's Biki. And it's weird. It's 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 like the, it's like, uh, pun. Does anyone remember? Okay, so if you say one minute, two minutes, and three minutes, there's Ipun, Nihun, Sampun, because Japanese is weird like that, and they like to like vary the the pronounce the front consonant of of words that uh start with h or p it it be like that so this is this be key so uh omi se de san piki no inu ga what's this word called naki okay wait wait Nai, yeah, nai, nai te imas. Okay, so, okay, wait, let me answer very well. Uh, country that's entertainment camp for people that disagree with the government is probably not all great. But it's true though, doesn't, uh, it, it happens. Like, this is the kind of thing that happens. So, the world is a terrible place. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's true though. I think, like, I don't want to get political. But I think there are some countries where they do have entertainment camps for people that, dis- that disagree with the government. It just is. Um, and it's it's and it's terrible. It's a terrible like, um, 
human rights uh what's the word you get what i mean uh infringement infringement of human rights but there's not much us individuals can really do about it uh we have to like resort we have to look to like higher authorities i guess so anyway so uh oh yeah let's explain something so uh the verb form okay the root form of this word is naku uh also known as the dictionary form basically what it means is for animals to like make sound so if you say like if you want to say birds chirping you would use this word if you want to say dogs barking you would use this word so um if you want to use the mass form that's naki nakimas uh if you want to use the root form naku and then this is this is form uh which is the what's it called the basically the ing form like which is the difference between run and running if you're running then you're running and if you're run in uh, the word run is just run so so i'm talking about the difference between verb and no idea what the ing form is it's the ing form everyone who knows english knows the ing form so the ing form is uh naite iru or imas um so since it's barking you have to say it this way omisede san iki no inu ga naite imas i wish my pronunciation was a bit smoother like if i could read uh japanese a bit smoother that would be great <laughs> sashi sashi is umbrella kasa Never mind, I'm dumb, it's not. Uh, Kasa is umbrella. And I'm bad at memorizing things. Sashi is this sashi. one, I think. Okay, yeah. Okay, and it's Sashi because pitch accents are important. Like, it's kind of weird because if, if you go to Japan and you say Sashi, they have no idea what you're saying. Or like, they'll think you're, you mean a different word. You do have to say Sashi. You're not, you're, not, you're screwed. Uh, but I don't think it's as important as like, knowing the correct grammar and stuff so this is not as uh this is on the lower priority but sashi essentially means to hold up said umbrella if i'm not wrong yeah please climb up oh nobote okay uh nobody is the mass form so to climb whether it be a tree a mountain or stairs you would say uh hello Nobody. Oh wait, did my my headphones just die? Nobody. Okay, my headphones are back. Okay, so um, to say let me just plug them in so they charge. <laughs> but uh, for if you want to climb anything, you would say nobody, which is the root form of this word. The mass form, which is the form that uh Duolingo likes to teach because Duolingo teaches. Um, polite form is nobori so you would say nobori mas and uh the ing form is nobote nobote iru so please climb up the mountain uh, please climb up the mountain oh also you use te if you want to issue a sort of command like if you say please climb up the mountain you're asking someone it's an instruction you're asking someone to climb up the mountain and so you you use the te form. So for example, in this case, Yamani. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, dead mountain. Okay, wait, I need to put Sono in front. So Sono, Sono, sono is 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 dead basically. Sono Yamani, yeah. nobote, nobote kudasai. kudasai. It's an instruction. You end with nobote kudasai. If you want to be polite, if you want to be rude, or like if you're talking to your friends in, in a casual manner, you can just say, Sono Yamani nobote, which is. Asking your friend to go climb that mountain uh, without the please. Oh boy, that's a lot of nose. この男の人の声はとても大きいです。Okay, so no is the possessive particle, which I've explained before. So when you see a lot of nose, right, you just gotta like backtrack and like reverse engineer the thing. So uh, kono. Otoko no hito no koe. So 
the voice of this person. Who is this person? Oh, it's a male person. So it's a guy. Kono. So this this guy. So this guy's voice basically. Kono otoko no hito no koe. This guy's voice. Wow, totemo totemo is very oki there. So this this man's voice is really big. Okay, I guess I took that too literally. So oki means big, but of course you don't say a voice is big, you would say a voice is loud, and I'm just dumb. Uh <laughs> Yeah, this man's voice is really loud. Ah, uh, yeah, bye. Okay, there are many trees on top of the mountain. Oh, what's the word for tree again? I is it key? Key. It is key. Okay. Um. Yamano ue ni. Taksan ki ga arimas. So taksan is a lot. Uh, so many trees. So taksan ki, which is many trees, and we've already explained on top of the mountain. Yamano Ueni Taksan Kiga Arimas. Sarua Kiga de Sarua Sarua Tokyo de Umare Mashta. Okay, Umare is to give birth or to be born. Wait. No, it's to be born, not to give birth. Yeah. Which is different. One is the person doing it and one is the person getting born. Like. You kind of get what I mean. Okay. Sarua Tokyo de Umaremashita. So, so basically, Sado is monkey. Uh, this monkey was born, and it's was because it's mashta. It's not mass. Uh, if it's mass, then it's present or future. Uh, but mashta is, is past. So Sado, Tokyo, Tokyo is well, Tokyo. De Umaremashita. So the monkey was born in Tokyo. In spring, many flowers bloom in the year. In spring, spring is haru. Uh, and yard is niwa. Niwa is this one, uh, which is ting in Chinese, like tia ting the ting. And uh, I don't know, they use the same word for it, I guess, but uh, it means different things. So in spring, uh, haru, haru ni. Wait, let's think about this. Haru ni... Niwa. Niwa. Okay, okay, wait. Pitch access are important, here's why. Niwa. 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 So, haru ni niwa niwa. Taksan hana ga sakimasu. I I think I'm wrong, cause how the ni niwa niwa sounds weird. Uh, not the niwa niwa part. I think the how the part sounds weird. Um, but taksan hana ga saki ma saki is to bloom. Uh, well, it's the mass form. You, you would use saku if 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 you wanted to use the root form. Then mind I'm right. Uh, okay. How the niwa taksan no. Okay the. Another alternative solution apparently is Haru ni wa taksan no hana ga ni wa ni sakimasu Oh, okay, so they reposition a lot of stuff Haru ni wa in spring Taksan no hana Okay, taksan So I guess the no here is kind of like negligible Like you don't really need it So taksan no hana ga ni wa ni Ah, I see Ah, uh, sakimasu so the way they phrased it is, in spring, many flowers. In the yard, bloom, and then the way I phrased it is, in spring, in the yard, many flowers bloom. <laughs> um, it's, it's not a direct translation, but that's the way you would directly, directly translate it in terms of position, wise. Uh, from English to Japanese. But they both kind of work, so. Kore wa. Oh my god, this is the meme. Kore wa hato desu ka? Is this a pigeon? Which is. Um, I think a very famous meme of this guy pointing at a yellow butterfly and asking that. Two birds are flying in the sky. Okay, this one's a bit weird. Um, I had trouble with this. Uh, like I said just now, de is used for locations to. Um, 
signify like a, a place where things are happening so you would think you would use they in this in this uh uh sentence but you don't eh? i think it's because the sky is too big of a place i think <laughs> so sort of whoa so Ni okay you don't use you don't use hiki for for birds you use uh wa wa yeah so ni wa, ni wa no no tori tori ga yonde tom eh hey, sorry yonde yon do yonde is Yonde is re okay yeah okay so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no uh tonde imas imas so um what was I saying so ton uh the to fly is tobu and then the mass form is tobi which is here and then the ing form is tonde so you're gonna see usually you put like te or de at the end uh, uh yeah but for some special cases especially okay basically when the uh verb right ends with m or b you replace uh sorry m or b you replace it with n de imas for for the ing form so for example to read is to is is yomu and you replace like reading something yonde imas uh drink nomu nonde imas and then i think i don't remember any other examples but when we when we find them we'll, we'll point them out ah uh natsu natsu wa Kawa de oyogimas. So kawa is river. It it the character even looks like a river. Um oh let's just make it blue for the fanzies. Uh oh never mind. <laughs> natsu natsu is summer, so natsu wa uh kawa de oyogimas, which means it's a very simple sentence. In summer I swim in the river. The animals on the mountain. Okay. Yama. Yama ni, ni wa. wa. Uh, doubutsu ga imas. Yeah, doubutsu is animals, which is why doubutsu n is zoo. Kono tori wa Because it's like animal park, basically. That's what doubutsu n is. Uh, kono tori wa tobimasu ka. Does this bird fly? That bird did not show. Uh, so sono sono tori wa uh na naki 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 masen deshita. So you need deshita there because it's did not not do not not like does not. If you want to say that bird does not show, sono tori wa naki masen. But because it's a did, you have to put deshita for the past tense. Like common mistake by me. Oh, that's done. Okay. Okay, this one's hard. Classroom classroom I found really challenging. Cause there were a lot of new words that uh I'm unfamiliar with. Jisho, okay. So let me run through this. So hiki, right? Hiki. Yeah, this is it's not hiki. Hiki is to reference or like to to look at. This is owari. Owari is to end, and the opposite of that is hajimari. Uh, okay, well, yeah, hajimari, and then. Ryo. 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 I don't remember where this comes out. But let's just keep this aside for now. So Jisho. Jisho is a dictionary. That textbook is not difficult. Uh 
Oh, it's here. I'm pretty sure this is textbook. I don't remember what it's called, but. <laughs> Kyokasho. Kyokasho, right, okay. Uh, Sono. Kyokasho wa. Muzukashiku nai. So. Well, this is just this because it's. 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 Uh, but, uh, that textbook. So, Kyokasho is textbook. Wa, muzukashiku nai. So, muzukashi as an e adjective. Uh, means difficult. So you replace the the e at the end with kunai for the negative form. So if you want to say not difficult, muzukashi kunai. If you want to say, for example, okay, everyone knows oishi. Oishi is delicious. If you want to say not delicious, oishi kunai. Uh, so on and so forth. There are some exceptions to this, like oki and chisai look like e adjectives, but they're not. They're like na adjectives, and don't get them confused. Owari. Owari. To end. I watched television and went to sleep. Teribi. Uh, teribi wo... Okay. So, more things about uh, a form for verbs other than, you know, an instruction. Like, uh, like just now, like, Yama ni no, nobote uh, kudasai. Yeah, so that's an instruction. You also use te form for like continuous sentences. So for example, in this case, I watched the vision and went to sleep. You don't end with like, like terebi wo mimashita. That's just, I watched television. If you want to say and went to sleep, you have to say terebi wo mite. And then, neimashita. So I think there's a comma here somewhere, but uh, Duolingo doesn't do commas for some reason. But terebi wo mite. Nemashita. Something feels missing. Um, but I can't think of what it is. This is kanji. Kanji is a writing system in Japanese that involves like this kind of character. Uh Chinese characters. Ike is uh not allowed to, something like that. Ko Do. Do is how. Ko is like like this. So none of these fit whatever this is. I could use the keyboard to type something out, but like, I don't even know what to type out. So let me think. Terebi wo mite. Sore kara. I think I would put sore kara. Because sore kara is, is then, I think, or like after that. Uh, wait, let me check that real quick, actually. Because uh, this is important. Sorekara. Yeah, Sorekara is, is then. So, wait, let me, let's try this. So, I'm gonna switch to my Japanese keyboard. Terebi. O. Mite. Comma. Sorekara. Um. Sorekara neemashita. And that is wrong. Uh, okay, I'm going to check the forum on this. I'm pretty sure Sorekara is used in that way, but I could be wrong. I mean, I'm not Japanese. This sounds so incomplete. Yeah, I know, exactly. Uh, the sentence is fine, I see. Uh, Sorekara. Oh my god, I'm right. Um... But uh, I guess I guess they just don't accept it right now. I'm gonna report this actually. Uh, my answer should be accepted. <laughs> yeah. Select the correct character for G. G. G from kanji, which is Chinese for zi, which means word. This word has lot. Uh, uh, ironically, the Japanese word for word contains. Doesn't contain G. Okay, I okay, G is 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 zi, um in Chinese, which I guess is more of like character than it is word. Anyway, this word has a lot of meanings. Uh kono uh kono boy. Okay, kono kotoba kotoba is word by the way. Kotoba no imi. Imi is meaning. Kono kotoba no imi ga 
Hakusan. What? I'm just gonna type it slowly. Takusan. Takusan. Arimas. Ari. Ari. Mas. So, whatever I'm saying here is. Kono kotoba no imi. So, this word's meanings. There's a lot of it. Takusan. With the gash on here. Takusan ga arimas. That's not that's got go, oh my god, okay. And I'm wrong again. Kono kotoba wa takusan imi ga arimas. Hmm. See, I'm also learning, okay. I get things wrong, don't mind me. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Kono to kotoba wa takusan imi ga arimas. Takusan imi. Takusan imi makes sense. Uh. I don't know, I've seen things phrased like this before. Let me check the forums real quick, just to confirm why I'm wrong. Uh, why is there a guy? Like, ha. Taksan ga. Kono kotoba wa taksan imi. Taksan imi is a lot of meaning, so that's fine. You could say taksan no imi, that's, that works too. Kono kotoba wa. Yeah, I think mine is just slightly inaccurate. Because mine is like this word's meanings, there's a lot of it, which is like slightly different. So this word, a lot of meanings it has. Sounds like Yoda, but <laughs> okay. Jugyo, okay, Jugyo is Jugyo. Jugyo is class. You eat it like this, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use the word bank for this one because I'm not confident. Okay, now I remember. So, do is how, ko is like this. So if you if if you ask, like do tabimasu ka, which is how do you eat this? Actually, the this isn't there. So kore wa, um, kore wa do tabimasu ka. So you're referring to like a piece of food, and you're wondering how to eat it. Maybe, uh, it's like. An onigiri that you don't know how to open or like unpackage. <laughs> you're like, Kore wa do tabimasu ka? And then, and then your friend's like, Oh, ko, ko tabimasu. So you eat it like this. So it will be like, tabemasu. It'll be this. Great. I only have one heart left. I'm so dead. Uh, kanji. Kanji is kanji. this one. How do you write this in kanji? Uh, okay, here we go. So, kanji. How do you write this kanji? He's referring to a singular kanji, like uh, a character of kanji. So, um, kono kanji wa do gaki ka? So this kanji, how do you write it? Jisho hite kudasai. Jisho hite kudasai. Okay, so hite hite is the te form of hiki, which is to refer to. So you're asking someone to refer to the dictionary. So. Please, oh boy, please consult the dictionary. I have homework today. Kyo wa, Kyo wa. Shukudai. Shukudai. Ga ga arimasu. Shukudai is homework. Test wa kyokasho mite wa ikemasen. Test wa kyokasho mite wa ikemasen. Okay, welcome to weird grammar. Um. <laughs> So, like I said before, IK is not allowed. So, um, this is also a place where you use TE form. Because uh, it's sort of continuous. So, TESTO WA KYOKASHO MITE. So, in this case, what they're saying here is, during the test, TESTO WA, or like, 
when it, regarding the test, test to what? Kyokasho textbook will mite. So looking at the textbook, kyo, uh, which is Kyokasho mite, what Ike masen Ike is, so Ike masen is not allowed. So you are not allowed to look at the textbook during the test. Textbook during the test. So you are not allowed to look at the text. Oh, the... I memorize a lot of ta kanji. Uh... Oh boy, Taksan kanji. Kanto? Oh, oh boy, mashita. Oh, oh boy is memorized. So, oh boy, mashita is the past tense of memorized, which is memorized. This is the te form of boy te. So if you want to ask someone to memorize something, uh, So please memorize this. Yoku. What? Yoku. Oboete nai. Oh, okay. <laughs> but this one's kind of weird. Let me look at the forums. I'm, I'm, I'm confused with the, the yoku. Like, why is, why is yoku there? Yoku avoite nai. This one, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to match the rules and patterns I've learned thus far. So, yoku. Well, avoite nai. Uh, avoite nai. Yoku avoite nai. Okay. So oboete nai is the casual form of the ing form. Oh wait, okay, it's a bit weird because you don't see an ing here. But the thing is, when you have something memorized, it's constantly there in your head. So you would use the ing form for that. It's weird, yeah, I know. I was perplexed by this, but but if something is continuously going to happen. Or like, it's things like, you know, like, shite, like, like, kore wa shiteiru, which means like, like, I know this. So, and, and you don't, and you don't use the present tense of like, oh, kore wa, uh, kore wa shimasu. Cause, cause, like, cause, cause you, you know this and you've been knowing this for a while. So, so you use oboete nai or like shite nai for, for, for that kind of scenario. It's weird. Has the class already started? Okay. So... Already is more, and the way you place this is really vibey. I don't really know how to explain it where more goes in the sentence, but you just kind of reposition it till it feels right. Um, jugyo wa more, <laughs> jugyo wa more, hajimate imasu ka? So, hajimate is the tail form of hajimaru. Uh, which is start, start oh so ha, oh like well hajimari so hajimatte imasu ka plus starter um once again using the tape form because it's like it's in the it's in the midst of happening uh jugyo even even though the English is started it's in the midst of happening so jugyo wa mo hajimatte imasu ka you're not allowed to use a dictionary during the test okay so test wa test wa uh, Jugyo. Whoa, he. Wait, I'm so dumb. Okay, dictionary is is Jisho, right? Test wa Jisho, Jisho. Test wa Jisho hite wa ikemasen. Is that weird continuous form and then ikemasen thing again? Ah. Um. Oh, kakimasu. You write it like this. Oh boy. <laughs> Japanese is hot. It'd be like that though. So. Just gotta work at it. Ah, this is like my favorite module of all time because I'm always hungry. Konbini. So konbini is Japanese for convenience store. Which is, you know, your 7-Eleven. Actually, I'm not sure if Target 
a Walmart is a convenience store? Like, are they not more like just like stores? It's like your bodega, sort of. I think that's what Convini is most like. Like a 7-Eleven is, is the best thing I can... Uh, Anyway, Fukuro. Fukuro is is back, and I don't mean like Kaban. So Kaban is is back, like legit, like back, like school back, sort of. That's Gakko no Kaban. But like um, this bag, I'm talking about like plastic bags, like the the stuff you use to carry groceries, and not like legit like backpack stuff. No. So Fukuro is Fukuro. is you know plastic bag, sort of. Um. Not necessarily plastic, but you get what I mean. Different kind of bag. Uh, and this is Chinese. In Chinese, this is Tai. Which kind of means the same thing. Uh, like Su Liao Tai. Su Liao Tai is plastic bag in Chinese. This book is a bit expensive. Kono hon wa... Shou Shou Takai desu. So Shou Shou is a bit... You could replace it with Skoshi. Oh, chotto. Those those work too. So you could say kono hon wa chotto takai desu, which is this book is a little expensive. Karage. Okay, if anyone has ever eaten Japanese food before, uh, Nihon no ryori, uh, you would know what karage is, which is fried chicken. Uh, karage. It, it it just looks like this. Karage. There's there's not much to say about it. Oh, I mean, okay. I think age is fried. Like, like if you say age mono, mono is things. So, for example, um, kuda mono, kuda, is, kuda mono is is fruit. Uh, tetsu mono, eh, is it tetsu mono? I could be wrong, but I think tetsu mono is buildings, and then tabe mono, tabe mono is food. Uh, so age mono is fried food. <laughs> Yeah, that, that 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 works. What kind of rice balls do you like? Uh, onigiri rice balls. Onigiri, onigiri ga. Eh. Ah, donna donna is what kind of. Uh, so donna onigiri ga suki desu ka? Uh, I pronounced that a bit wrong. Donna onigiri, donna onigiri ga suki desu ka? What kind of rice balls do you like? Onigiri is well, rice ball. <laughs> Although onigiri, if you've ever actually, if you've ever seen an onigiri, it doesn't actually look like a ball. It looks more like a triangle. But like, don't add me. Okay, meshia, meshia garu. Okay, this is a just a really fancy way. I don't know why it's so long, but it means to eat, sort of. Meshia <laughs> garu. It just okay. Yeah, usually in a store, you you use meshia garu in a store. And not just like to eat, like eating at a store. I guess specifically, I will eat it in the store. Uh, ten night, ten night is in the store. Ten night de, uh, meshiagaru. Uh, sorry, meshiagaru mas. Uh, mas is important because you gotta be joking me. Yeah, see, I told it's the same thing. <laughs> Ah, bro, you gotta be joking. Do you want to go to the de meshiagarimasu? Is it because machine is meant to be there? You would never. You would never use such a polite language to refer to yourself. Naruhodo. Okay. I get it. Okay. Yeah, the cashier of the konbini or the or the whoever will usually be the one saying meshiagari because they are saying it to you and they want to be polite to the customer but you never say it to yourself so that makes sense okay 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 i accept that uh age age right this snack is a bit sweet okay okashi 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 is snack okashi is strange so Oh yeah, <laughs> extended vowels are things. So if you say, okay, for example, the one that I just said, okashi is snack. Okashi is strange, and then if you say obachan is aunt, and if you say obachan is grandmother. So you gotta watch out for that. Okay, kono okashi wa. Okay, and the pitch accent is 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 different. So so okashi versus okashi. Kono okashi wa. Uh, 
少々甘いです,甘,いです甘いですスイお待ちくださいお待ちください OK マッチ is the uh, <笑>マスフォーム of 待ってそうちょっと待って like that wait right so お待ちください This is a very polite form of saying、uh, please wait a minute Usually said by cashiers, probably when they are like taking change for you. I heat up the french fries. Oh, okay, y'all gonna love this. Fried potato. Fried potato. That's fries. Uh, fried potato. Uh, atatame mashta. Atatame mashta. This is warmed up or like heated up. Uh, and you and and it looks pretty similar to atatakai, which is warm. Uh, but like more of an adjective form of, of this. But yeah, atatame is the verb and it means heat it up. Konbini de karaage to fried potato o tabemashita. Konbini de karaage to fried potato o tabemashita. I ate fried chicken and fries at the convenience store. Konbini de. Do you need a bag? Fukuro wa. Fukuro wa.、Uh, Irimaska. This is ni.、Um, which is ironic because in Chinese, this. In Chinese. In Chinese.、Uh, my English is dying.、Uh, this character is yao, which is want and not ni.、Uh, oh, actually, I mean, ni is shi yao, so. Sort of works, but. Yeah, usually when you say yao. It just refers to like one thing something. But yeah. Fukuro wa irimasu ka? Resito wa yoroshi desu ka? Ah, resito. So a lot of katakana you like kind of guess. Like if you say, if I say like fried potato, you, you kind of get it. Like, oh, he's talking about fried potatoes, you know? So it's fries.、Uh, and same thing with this. So resito, resito is receipt. Uh, wa yoroshi desu ka? So, yoroshi is a very polite form of e, which is fine, I guess. Or, like, if you say, if you ask someone, uh, um, kore wa e, which is like super casual, uh, you're asking, like, oh, is this fine? Or is, is this okay with you? Uh, so, and then, like, the less polite, uh, sorry, the less casual version would be e desu ka? And then, even less casual, yoroshi desu ka? <laughs> so, do you need a receipt? Oh, I spelled it wrong? <laughs> I have a typo. My bad. Yeah, I swear I know how to spell receipt, alright? Will you be eating here? Uh, koko de tabe masu ka? Actually, no, wait, the cashier will say this, right? Will you be eating here? So, koko de me s h i a g a r i masu ka? Eh. See, they accepted it because they, this, is a, this is a sentence the cashier would say. Kuro o ni mai kaimashita. Kuro o ni mai kaimashita. So, mai is the counter particle, like hiki for animals. Mai is the counter particle for, well, fukuros, I guess, like, like bags. Kuro o ni mai kaimashita. I bought two bags. Although, you think, like, why would you buy. Plastic bags, I don't know. Would you like your seat? Uh, receipt or your seat? Yes, yes, yes. Mochi kaerimas. Uh, I will take it home. So, mochi is to have, and then kaeri is to go home. So, you, combining it like this, it's a bit weird, I know, grammar wise, but mochi kaerimas is I'll take it home, referring to like some food, like you're gonna take it away, basically. Please come in. Uh, hi, oh, hi, ri, kudasai. Oh, hi, ri, kudasai. Hi, ri is to enter. So if you want someone to come in, oh, hi, ri, kudasai. There we go. Nice. Alright. Oh boy. Uh,. Sure, let's go for it. So, you're gonna hear some words in this module that are like pretty、um, famous, I think. Like, you, you hear them a lot in, in anime, I guess. Like,、um, okay, not this one,、uh, but like, 
if you've ever heard someone say Mondai, Mondai is question. Uh, yeah, something like that. So, okay, I guess it's just one word, but okay, Kyoshitsu. Kyoshitsu is Kyoshitsu. this one. It means classroom, uh, which is accurate because in Chinese, this is um, in, in Chinese, these characters mean Jiaoshi, which is also classroom, pretty sure. Kyoshitsu。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教室。教
本いや四本買いました,ましたもう質問に答えましたかもう質問に答えましたか OK 質問 is basically 問題です、ね、so, 質問 means questions Uh, so, もう質問に答えましたか So, 答え is answer. So, I guess the opposite of question. But you could use it as a verb as well. So, it's not just a noun. And、uh, in Chinese, this is ta, like ta and ta, which is also answer. So, that's kind of accurate. もう質問に答えましたか、uh, Have you. Already answered the question. My grandmother showed 10 pictures to my grandfather. This one's gonna be a bit long. So, my grandmother, Oba san. Oba san. Because you're talking about your grandmother. Oji san. Oji san. Ni. Jumai shashin wo misete mashita. Eh, no. No. Misete mashita. Misete is the te form, you're not using it right now.、Um, so, show is mise mashita. So, mi is to see, mise is to show, and shashin is photo. So, photo, well, show photos basically. This, this last part here. So, jumai.、Uh, jumai is ten. So, ten photos. And then, it's oji san ni. So, the destination. So, you're showing the grandfather photos. Which explains this sentence. Oba san wa oji san ni jumai shashin wo misemashita. Sono shitsumon wa ashita kotaimas. Sono shitsumon wa ashita kotaimas. Okay. Ah. So no is that. Shitsumon is problem. Ashita is tomorrow. And kotai is answer. So here we go. Sono shitsumon wa ashita kotaimas. I will answer your question. Tomorrow. Something probably a teacher will say. Please show me a picture of your child. Oh boy, that's kind of creepy. Kodomo no shashin o misete kudasai. Te form is an instruction. Please show me a picture of your child.、Uh, picture of your child is Kodomo, Kodomo's child, no shashin. So, no kanji wa mo shite. This is exactly what I was talking about just now. So, shite imas. You already know. And you've continuously knowing this kanji. It's in your brain all the time. Please answer the three questions. Mondai. Okay, in this case, you can use either shitsumon or mondai. They both work.、Um, mitsu. Mitsu no mondai. Ni kotai te kudasai. So, even I'm slightly confused about why it's a knee here, because questions are not exactly a destination. So, I'm gonna check the forums. Because I would say, uh, Mitsu no Mondai wa. Ah, yeah, here, you know. Here we go. Kotae r is always preceded by a knee. Now we know, the more you know. Kotae, which is. It looks different here because it's just hiragana, but. Kotae. Is answer so kotaer、uh, is always preceded by a ni. Now we know. What did she say? Kanojo. Okay. So Japanese is a contextual language, which means you don't usually like、um, say pronouns in your speech. So actually, this is kind of inaccurate to say, like, oh, kanojo. Kanojo? Wa nanto i mashita ka? So this is. Okay, so let me explain this second part first. So, nanto, you use to to signify something that someone said. So, nanto is what? What in like quotation marks, I guess. Like, what did she say? So, so e is say, mashtaka. So, what did she say, right? So, usually when you want to talk about, like, if you want to say, what did she say, chances are you. You and your friend, who you're, who you're talking to, already know the context of what you're saying. So you would say, Nanto i mashita ka? You wouldn't say, Kanojo wa Nanto i mashita ka? But if you're referring to someone new, then I guess you, you don't have a choice、uh, so that your friend can understand, oh, you mean her, which is Kanojo. But, but usually you wouldn't say, Kanojo. Do you know that woman's name? Ano, onna, onna? No, no hito, hito, no, no namae. namae. 
Shiteimasuka is know about knowing. Uh, Ano is dead. So Ano, Onna no Hito no Namae. That's a lot of no's. But once again, the name of that person that is female that is there. Not there, sorry. Dead, basically. Dead female person's name. <laughs> oh, Shiteimasuka. And we're level 5. Okay. I think I'm gonna stop here. That was like 4 modules. And my brain is slightly tired. But uh... <sighs> it's nice to practice. Anyway. I'm gonna be streaming later in half an hour. Uh, I'll be streaming Monster Hunter World. Which is a game I recently started playing, and I've progressed in the story quite a bit. Uh, I just don't want to restart, because, you know, that's annoying. But, uh, I'm currently in some story quests, uh, so feel free to check me out. God, that sounds creepy, don't do that. Uh, feel free to check out my stream later at, well, in half an hour. But yeah, I'll be streaming, uh, come watch, and thanks for watching me attempt to do Japanese and I hope you all learn something but yeah bye